I mean, it's great to watch as as a, a, a viewer, but the amount of pressure that must be on the YouTubers that are doing those type of reviews as well, because you have to, you almost have to be the very first person or like straight yeah. on it. And it's like, I, I mean, mean <laughs> that's true. If, if your goal is to be, is to get a, a ton of views or to be on the front page sort of thing. And I think that's specifically, now it's December 1st. We just went through October and November where it's like an endless stream of new things and people getting stuff that you like a thing that always gets me is that you can't make the day one video. If you're buying the video, if you're getting the product that day, unless you're really, really good at making products because they already had it for multiple days. And so like you're, you're like, I trick myself into being like, I should get it. So then I can make a video right away. And like, you can, but I, I just don't always know like what I, like, I mean, it, a lot of people, it's like, you want to make money. So like, that's, I will say that's a motivation or get the attention. But I, I like, I want to make a sustainable YouTube career. And so far, I haven't figured out how to make videos every day and do that sustainably. And so like, I don't want to flame and get really hot and then just totally burn out because I think that's one of the major concerns, even just like, I'm I'm 30 so like I can't just <laughs> work all night long. I also like live with my girlfriend so I do like have a relationship with her and want to spend time and so I can't just like work all night every night. It's just not how I operate and so I I think that's just always a a concern for me is 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 sort of just like what do you even do like why do you want to do that? It's like do you just want to get views or do you want to help people learn a technology that they can use for the rest of their life or something like that. And it's easy to get caught up in the hot video of the day, but like getting to the point where you're able to make those things is, is not where I'm at. And so I, I it's almost a distraction to like pretend that I'm Peter McKinnon or something like that. Like, cause it's not at all. And <laughs> it's just being realistic. I mean, I think that's, I'm not trying to like say that you couldn't too. Cause I think, Sometimes when you are watching those videos, it's like there are only 30 people or something like that that get that many views. And so if you can make a high quality product that is entertaining and has a great thumbnail is usually a huge part that I undervalue, then <laughs> you can. And timing lines up. Sometimes you can just like hit that. So a lot of times it's about YouTube knowing what your channel is about because then it can properly serve it to the right people yeah but i think I, I love that about like you and the channel is it's it's not about anything else it's genuine you can see the passion and you can see what you want to get across and it's not like and i'm not saying that other people are again like you it's not like everybody's there are i'm sure people that are just out for the money but a lot of people That's are just true. doing them right and it, and if it happens to be amazing like peter mckinnon then that's cool, but your your channel is amazing in its own way. It's not any less amazing, right? You are yeah, exactly. And I think sometimes, especially with YouTube, the thing that seems like a trend even since 2017 is I, I don't remember who I said this, but they were just like, YouTube is about you. Like it's in the name. The, your videos on your channel. I mean, unless you have a channel like this is for your podcast. And so that makes sense that it's aligned there. But a lot of people have adopted just putting their names. It's like, it doesn't say MKPHD anymore. It says Marquez Brownlee. And it's like about the people. And so I think that's something that's hard to internalize, especially if you, like, I, I think I'm also in a weird situation with YouTube and kind of, that's kind of what I was saying about, like, I feel like I should do this because I am like the shortcuts guy. Like I worked the co at the company. And so people have a very easy reason to watch my videos is because I am like the authority on YouTube about this stuff. And so that is like a pull, but it's not the push from myself of like, this is really what I want to be sharing in a certain way. So like me doing only shortcuts, I think has been a problem because I do more than shortcuts. There's a lot more that I'm interested in. And so just kind of tapping, for going for the same thing every single time, I just like ran out of creativity there. Definitely at the end of last, or I guess it was this year, 
I don't remember what time is anymore. Um, but <laughs> yeah, it, this is terrible. Uh, the timing of, I mean, obviously 2020 is just dreadful, but it was uh-huh. like, I spent all of February trying to work on a video for the app Fantastic Hal, which yes. had already come out at the beginning of February. So I was already like being like, ah, it's too late and it's wrong. Um, but it was just entirely like one shot and a top down edited between both and it was just nothing i just didn't care about it it was just like here's an app and it was just like what am i even i like i just feel like i should be doing this and it wasn't creative and it wasn't interesting that way and so i i just like stopped because i was like i need a (laughs) i was like yelling (laughs) in my (laughs) office being like why am i saying this right so that was just like not fun and i've uh since then like the ipad Magic Keyboard has come out. Shortcuts have gotten folders. And now this whole add to home screen stuff is going to be really cool. And so I'm, I'm really excited about that. Um, I also, I feel like I have the time I pretend that I only work from the iPad, but I've done every podcast, live stream, and video from a Mac for the last three years. And so I think sometimes I'm like sitting on my iPad being like, why am I not making a video? But like it's over there sort of thing. And so... That like Chris does have it almost easier because he's all in on iPad and I'm like trying to figure out how to use both while like feeling like people want iPad only stuff. And so that's been a whole existential thing. But again, it's like, what do I want to do is what, is what really matters. It's you're in charge of it. So yeah. Gotta, and, and again, you can yeah. see that when you are doing what you really enjoy because it comes across so well. Whereas you're right, if you started filming content that, you know, you didn't believe in or you didn't want to do, I think it would come across and it just wouldn't have the same kind of like greatness about the video and your yeah. enthusiasm. So I appreciate that. I think it's, yeah. I will say, I've done a good job of putting out the videos that I enjoy and. I mean, not all of them I'm super proud of. I still made a lot of beginner mistakes and things like that. But I think the part that isn't great that I I will say is like sort of a regret is just not is just trying more on things that I didn't necessarily wasn't comfortable with. But it said I just didn't do it as opposed to like I still do think the stuff I put out has been high quality, but I just haven't put out a ton of it. And so I'd rather have more and not be so like perfectionist about it because because people want to watch to learn about shortcuts still and I don't I still feel like I'm like one percent done and there's so much more and so I've only put out 20 YouTube videos so it's not it's not a whole lot um but the streams I think have been at least making me feel better about it yeah (laughs)